Welcome, my name is Terry Soule and this is a video on how to make a very simple self-driving car or maybe self-steering bug depending on how you want to think about it in Scratch. Um, and the idea is our car or bug will have sort of two sensors that stick out in front and help it steer around a track. So the first thing we need to do is create a new sprite that has those two sensors. So I'm going to paint a very simple sprite. I'll start with just a simple ellipse for a body. And again, if you wanted something like a car, you could make it square and add some wheels. If we want to think about it as a bug, you could add some eyes. I'm going to keep it very simple as just an ellipse. Um, and I'm going to zoom in. I actually want this fairly small so that it can drive around the track. So let me zoom in a bit and then I'm going to make this quite a bit smaller. There we go. And then, as I said, it's going to use two sensors to steer to keep it sort of on course. And so I need to add those two sensors as just, you can think of them if you want as antennas out in front, or if you want to think about an autonomous car, maybe it's some sort of an infrared sensor that detects obstacles out in front of it. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So we'll paste a new one here and then just put it down below. I want this to be symmetrical, so I'm going to line that up pretty well. And so those are going to be used to sense using just a standard touching if we're touching, say, the edge of the track and then turn to stay on the track. However, there's an issue here, which is if you sort of think ahead a little bit to the code, in order to do that sensing, I need to know whether it's the left or the right sensor that's doing the touching. And so I'm going to use a trick here, which is instead of one costume with both sensors, I'm going to have separate costumes that I switch between to check those different sensors. So this will make a little more sense maybe as we go on in the code, but here's the idea. Let me duplicate the costume. And for this costume, my costume two, I only want the left sensor. And then I'll duplicate this again. And for this costume, this is now costume three, I only want the right sensor. And so I'm going to switch between costumes when I do the sensing. OK? So I'll start with costume one. So in terms of the code, the idea is to keep moving forward. But as I move forward, I'm going to check the left sensor and the right sensor and turn away from them as I go. A good thing to remember is to add a new name other than untitled as you work through your project. So I will just call this um, smart bug because it's going to sort of behave at least a little bit intelligently. It's certainly not going to be brilliant. So we'll start as usual with when the green flag is clicked. And the idea is I'm going to want two blocks, one for the left sensor and one for the right sensor. So I'm going to go down to blocks here. Check left. So this is going to check the left sensor for me. Put that over there. And then another similar block to check the right sensor. And so now, basically, my bug is forever going to be moving forward a little bit and then checking the left and right sensor to see if it should turn. So I'll move forward kind of slowly, just one step at a time. Check left, check right. And the idea for the check left basically is just going to be the following. If I'm touching, in this case, I'm going to say if I'm touching the road that I'm trying to follow and the left sensor is touching it, then I need to go right. But in order to know that I'm checking the left sensor, I need the right costume. And so the costume with the left sensor was costume two. So the first thing I do is switch to costume two, and then I can check if I'm sensing and it 
touching anything. And if I am, I'm going to turn to the right. So my left antenna or my left sensor is touching something. I want to turn a little bit to the right. Is 15 degrees the right amount? Well, that's something that you can fiddle with. I'll use as, as the default for now. The other piece that I have to worry about is, well, what is it that I'm touching? In order to know what I'm touching, I'm going to need another sprite here. I could either draw in a background, but I'm going to do what's commonly the case, and I'm just going to paint a new sprite. And this sprite, too, is going to basically be my road. Let me, there we go. I'm going to do it with no fill. Make sure that it's wide enough for our sprite to fit in. If I need to, I can shrink the sprite a bit, but there we go. So this is going to be my road that I want my sprite to stay in. So let me switch well, back to my sprite, costume one. I just will actually put it on the trail. Um, its antennas are maybe, eh, maybe I should have made the road a little bigger. In order to fix that, I'll actually just make it a little smaller. So let's go in. make my sprite a little bit smaller. And I should also, while I'm at it, make sure that I'm switching to costume one. And in fact, I'm going to need to do this on every loop. I'm going to need to switch to costume one, because when I check left and check right, that's going to switch to the other costumes. So now I can say check left, and under sensing, if I'm touching sprite two, which is my track, then I should turn to the right while, and this is the key, while I'm using costume two. And then I can just duplicate this, put it to the right. But in this case, I'm going to switch to costume three to see if my other sensor is touching. And if it is touching the track, then I want to turn the other way. So I could either put in the other turn or just do negative 15. And so let's try this out. Let's see, switch to costume one. And this is the piece we have to be a little bit careful of. It turns out switching to costume one first doesn't work well. So the thing that we need to edit here is I want to run these without screen refresh so that I don't actually see it switching costumes. It, I want it to show costume one. So let me go to looks. There we do. We need to switch to costume one at the end. So I put it at the beginning, but that doesn't work because when it checks left and checks right, it switches to the other costumes. And so if I want it to show up, I can get rid of this one now. I need to make sure that that's the last costume that it shows. So it's showing that costume. And notice what happens when it touches the edge, it turns to stay on the road. There we go. And then here it's going to turn the other way. We can get into trouble. This is not a perfect, perfectly intelligent bug, especially given that it's a little small and there, excuse me, a little big for the track. There you can see it ran off the track. And the reason that it did is that sensor got outside. So this is a pretty simple sensor, but it's nice because you can see how it works. And so we can do things like make it a little smaller. And I'm going to put it back on the track here. And now, because it's smaller, you can see it does a better job of staying on the track. We could also play around with how much it turns. Like I say, maybe 15 degrees is too much of a turn or too little of a turn. You can also play with how fast it goes. So if this is running faster, so if I move, say, three steps at a time, it goes a lot faster, but you also, there's a bigger chance that it accidentally gets off the track. Although I think it's, we're going to be pretty much OK here. So here, what's interesting about this compared to a lot of other programs you might have seen in Scratch is it's not directly controlling the motion. Instead, it has these two antennas, and it's sort of semi-intelligently turning to stay on the track using those sensors. 
it's not perfect if you get it like into a dead end it will end up running off the track instead but it's a good start and from here it's very easy to do things like change the angle of the turn change the speed we could put in some controls that say well if the body right the main body runs into sprite 2 maybe it needs to back up we could put in some other controls right now we only have two sensors we could put in additional sensors and we could do things like check far right and check far left or maybe a sensor straight ahead and if the one straight ahead bumps into something we want to turn so like most of the projects that I do and will show, this is just the beginning, but it is a good starting point and it illustrates this idea of making a more intelligent sprite that makes decisions as it goes. The other trick, again, that I want to sort of make sure is clear, to do the check left, it has to switch to the costume where there's only that sensor. That's how it knows whether it's touching on the left or the right. If I only used costume one, I'd have no way of knowing it was it the left sensor or the right sensor that touched. So I have to switch between costumes as part of the code and then carefully switch to costume one at the end. So that's the one that shows up. So again, fairly simple little piece of code, but it gives you a semi-intelligent car, if you want, a little bit of an autonomous vehicle here, although not a super sophisticated one but an excellent project to start with to build more complicated projects from. Okay, thank you.